Well, hello guys, the Cadillacs. Welcome back to my channel. A lot of you guys had a lot of questions about how to sell digital products in the last video. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out here because this video will not make any sense to you. But apparently I wasn't very clear. Even though I did talk about selling on Etsy, selling on Facebook Marketplace to sell your digital products. So if you missed it, real quick, you can sell digital artwork with platforms like Canva and you can send the digital artwork to your end buyer, end buyer, your client, your customer, so they can now go to their local print shop or their favorite printing website to get it to any size that they want. So why would somebody wanna do this? When I was searching for artwork, a lot of the prints that you can get are tiny. They're like this, you know, but I wanted a six foot size canvas or a six foot size print. And you can't get that from most websites. You're gonna have to get that custom. So what you do is you're giving them rights to the art and then they can go now to print it any size they want. So today we're gonna get into the nitty gritty, the details on how to actually sell this online, where, what to do, watermarks, how to protect yourself as far as people stealing your designs, things like that. That's what we're getting into. So let me get my handy dandy computer and let's get on with the tutorial. Let's go. Hello, my name is Kat Theo, and today we're continuing talking about how you can sell digital artwork online to sell. It's a fun way to use the left side of your brain. Some people's comments says the right side of your brain, but your creative side of your brain. And you can make money on the side doing this, and it's a lot of fun. I got this idea when I was looking for artwork, and I couldn't find what I was looking for, especially in the size that I wanted. So I ended up just doing it myself, and I said, this is a great YouTube idea. So here we are. My favorite places that you can sell digital artwork is first Etsy. Etsy is kind of known for the creative realm of selling things. It's handmade stuff, it's custom things, things that are unique, the DIYers. So Etsy is gonna be a really good place to start. Etsy does take a commission, Facebook Marketplace does not. So you can use Etsy, they have a ton of client base already, a ton of traffic, they're they're known. Etsy's an amazing place to start. So, I mean, do you guys want me to go through how to set up an Etsy account? I mean, you're gonna set up an account like you set up any other online account. You make a seller account, you link your information, you link your bank information, you start selling. It's really like one, two, three, it's pretty simple. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a Facebook Marketplace account. You don't need an account. As long as you have a Facebook account, you can sell on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a little bit. The next concern a lot of you had was people stealing your artwork. What do you do to protect yourself? You have this great artwork, you wanna keep it for yourself. What do you do? So I'm gonna talk about how you can protect yourself. There's a few different ways that are my favorite ways. First is a watermark. Watermark is when you have like a logo or a name written all over it to protect yourself. See example here. I personally do not like watermarks because for art, you can't really see exactly every little detail. And I wanna see every little detail, especially when I'm about to buy something, especially for your clients and your you know buyers. You want them to see the artwork, every little detail. So I don't like watermarks, but this is a great way to protect yourself. You can use websites online. Just type in free watermark generator into Google. You'll find websites that will do this for you. The second option is using low resolution photos. So why low resolution photos will protect you is because when somebody right clicks save as a photo that is low resolution, if they try to blow it up, the resolution is gonna be so poor that it's gonna be blurry. So this also protects you. They're not gonna be able to copy your photo and blow it up, put it on their wall without paying you for the design because it's gonna be such a slow resolution and I'm gonna show you how to do that. The next way is a collage. This is my favorite way. It's a great way to display your art and it looks great, it looks professional, and they're not gonna be able to screenshot it, so I will show you how to do that. I'll show you what I'm talking about, but that is the third way. And the fourth way is to take a picture of a picture. So if you can take a picture of the screen, you can also use what you have. Like for example, in my house, I use my own art. That's the example I'm gonna use today. And I can take a picture of that art on my wall, and then it's like far away. They're also not gonna be able to, you know, 
screenshot it or save as it and use it. It's just, they're not gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so if you remember in the last video, I took you around my house to show you the art I did. This is the art that we're gonna, I'm gonna give you an example. So these are the three pieces I had on my wall, if you remember. And I'm gonna show you how I can take these three pieces now and sell them online and also protect myself. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna make a collage. So this is the collage. I found a template in Canva. If you don't have Canva already, like, ugh. it's the most amazing thing. I love Canva. I love, love, love Canva. I don't even know how much it is. I, I have a subscription. It is amazing. I make money using Canva. Canva's amazing. I don't even know. Like, you need to sign up from the pro. It's amazing. I have a link in the description. They have so many free features though. If you don't wanna sign up, if you're not ready to pay for the subscription, they have lots of free features. And I'm pretty sure everything we're doing today, you, not everything, but a lot of stuff we're doing today, you're not gonna need the pro version. So yes, fun fact, you're gonna go into Canva and find a template. You're gonna type in collage. So type in collage and these are gonna be a ton of options, a ton of beautiful options for you. Just pick the one you like. So I picked one I liked and I just tweaked it to make it, you know, kind of flow with the colors that I have. So this by itself is already how you can display your artwork. If you have this file on your screen, you are not going to be able to screenshot this because because even if you screenshot it, you can go into the little photo and then the photo is so tiny, it's gonna be such a small resolution. They're not gonna be able to blow it up and steal your design. It's just, it's literally, their picture is gonna be blurry. So. This is a, a good way and it's a great way to showcase all your designs. So I had the three there. I showcased it. I put digital art. I said download and print the size you need. Okay, beautiful. All right, the next thing you can do is you can make it display in a living room. So you're gonna do like a mock-up of how it's gonna look in their space. So right here I typed in bedroom. Okay, here's a nice little bedroom here. And you can go into elements and you can type in frame. Frame is gonna be an equal size picture that when you put it into the frame, your picture into the frame, it's gonna like sink it. It's like sinks it all up, it's great. So I'm gonna choose this one here. This is one of my favorites. These are all gonna be identical, okay? And then now I can put in my artwork so they can see how it looks. So I just plop these in here. There you go. Now you have a picture that you can put on Facebook Marketplace, Etsy, Craigslist, all these places to advertise because now you have it. Once again, they're not gonna be able to screenshot this and steal your picture. It's too small. It's gonna be blurry. Trust me, they cannot do it. Okay, here is another example that I already did ahead of time. Um, I don't love the colors with my artwork, but you can just see how you can take it, flop it in there so they can see how it would look. Here is another example I found. You can see this picture, it just was an empty frame. I stuck my picture in there so I can show my in buyers what it could look like. Here's another example. This goes on and on and on. Here's another example here. So I started it for you already. Here's another one. So I click it. I'm gonna size it to the picture frame. We wanna let the frame show still. Voila, there you go. So you can show how it would look in their space. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna download it. This is where you need the pro. To make the size smaller, so the resolution is smaller and they can't steal your artwork, what you can do is you can play with the size. So if you want huge resolution, so when you send it to them, when they actually buy the picture, you're gonna want this to go as big as you possibly can. So two is good, one's even great, you know, but one and a half is good, two, three, you know, three is the biggest. But you can go smaller to make the resolution lower. It's not, from the naked eye, it's not gonna make it blurry, but for printing, it's important. So you can make this half, okay? So you can make it half. And then you can also compress the files, which makes it even smaller, and it does say lower quality. But for our sake, that's what we want so people don't steal your artwork. So you're gonna click that. And then now we're gonna download 
I'm just gonna download like a couple of these. Let me do that real quick here. All right, so now I'm gonna go to Facebook. I am on my Facebook now. This is Facebook Marketplace. It's the little shop house. Okay, you're gonna click that. And then you're gonna click create new listing. Then you're gonna click item for sale. And now this is where you start. So I already started for the sake of the time of the video. I already uploaded my collage. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna add your photos. Here are my examples here. I'm just gonna do a couple. There you go. So you have your photos, you can do, you know, as many as you want, you can do four or five, whatever. You're just showcasing what your photos look like, all that stuff. So then you have your title, you have custom, you can put whatever you want, okay? But I put custom, abstract, digital art, digital file. Make sure it's in the title, make sure it's in the description, and I would even put it on your picture because people don't read. People don't read and they're gonna be mad at you. So just make sure it's very clear this is a digital file and not a physical print that they're gonna be receiving. Put your price, I put $5. It tells you what similar pictures are selling for. Since it is a digital product, it's gonna be a little bit lower because they're not getting a physical product. They're gonna to have to go pay to have it printed. So just remember that. The category, I did posters, prints, paintings. I think that's accurate. It's gonna be a poster, it's gonna be a print. The condition is new. And then you're gonna put your description. You can put whatever you want. I put beautiful, custom, abstract, minimalist art, digital file only. Make sure that is very clear. Download the file, go to your favorite printing shop and print the size you like or need or want, whatever you want. And you can go into more details and you can just talk about how they can blow it up to whatever size they need. Um, and you can even give them suggestions like this works great for vertical shots, portrait shots, or landscape, whatever your thing is. Um, type of picture, I put print, you know, poster, painting, whatever. Artwork subject, that's the kind. Mine's abstract, like we spoke about. And then decor style, I put bohemian, color, multi. Okay, next, you're gonna click next. Okay, this is the part where you have to add your delivery method as shipping. So anybody can buy from you on Facebook. I don't know if it's just in the US or just in Canada or in all of Facebook. So if you're outside of the United States, you're gonna have to let us know if this is applicable for you because I live in the United States, so I'm not sure. But if you offer shipping, it's nationally, at least nationally for sure. So you're gonna set up shipping. So when you set up shipping, you're gonna have to have your legal name. You're gonna have to put your banking information. There's these little hoops you gotta jump through, but it's not that difficult. So you can click how it works. They can tell you all this stuff. Um, you're gonna get a printing label, all this stuff. And they have they have their, their payment system. So since I haven't actually shipped anything, I would have to set this up as well. So you have to put in your legal name, okay? Your legal name and it has to match your banking information and all that for you to get paid, all that stuff. So yeah, set all that stuff up. And that's it, your listing will be live. You can use these same exact photos and swap out your other artwork if you're gonna do multiple. You can put this on Craigslist, you can put this on Etsy, you can put this on really any app that you sell things. So there are so many different apps. I mean, just there are so many different apps. You can put these anywhere you want. But I like Facebook Marketplace because everything you make is 100% like yours. Just make sure that you know, you account for your taxes and all this stuff. Any questions? So I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna give you a really good example. Imagine you did this. Obviously this is not a great example because this is a real artist who is not using Canva, but um, imagine you sent them this piece of artwork and they blew it up to this size and they can put it on in their, in their home to this size. That's the idea. So I'm gonna show you now on Facebook other people doing this. So when you search Facebook Marketplace, you can type in art, click enter, and you can see other people doing this exact thing. So colorful, abstract, art. This is prints, so they are sending you something, but essentially you can flip through here and see other people are doing very similar stuff. A lot of these are gonna be prints, but a lot of these are digital art, you know? They're sending you just a file and you can do with it what you want. 
all of these these this is actually this is really nice really cool i love it but the dimensions are eight by ten so if you want something bigger you're limited so pretty much all that they're gonna do is they're gonna click buy now you're gonna send them the full resolution file on canva so remember when you do canva you can do one, two, three, that's the size. The bigger this is, the bigger the resolution. So it's big, big, big. And then what they do is they're gonna go to their favorite website, they're gonna upload it and print it out and get it shipped to them. I'll give you a very good example. This is one of my favorite websites, Easy Canva Prints. I do not have a sponsor with them. I have no affiliation other than I've used them before and I love them. Here you can see that you can pick the size you want. So you can do 18 by 24, 24 by 60. Let's do a big one, 30 by 40. Okay, we're gonna rotate it. Let's upload our image. This is the file you're sending to them. They can now see it on their wall. They're gonna buy it and they get it shipped to their house and now they have a giant picture they can put on their wall. So that is how that works. All right, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this explained any other questions you had. If you have any more, let me know. Feel free to like this video if I answer some of your questions. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh god, that's not right. Okay, why did that work? That was left. Lefty Lucy. Lucy, lefty. Okay, whatever. Six foot size printing, um, uh, cop, not copyright. We're not gonna talk about copyright. Here we are, what are we doing first? So, oh, did I not press record? Oh wait, okay, I haven't started. <laughs> Sorry, hopefully everything works. Where's the mic on this thing? Your website to advertise, not your website. Okay, here I am on Facebook Marketplace. Do you know how to get to Facebook Marketplace? It's the little, let me just do it, freak. This is where you're gonna offer shipping. This is what's gonna make it national. Oh, my memory card. Pause. Where to sell these digital products? Not products, sorry, I keep saying that. Okay, we're losing light. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a really good example. So this is what you're gonna do. Oh. Well, okay, we'll just do this real quick. So you can, what is this? Okay, here we go, here we go.